This time of year I start finding swarms just because some colonies grow bigger than others and here we are. The first little swarm for the year. But this isn't from the parent colony. I first assumed this little swarm was from that yard. This little guy is from my mating yard. I just went through just to check to see what type of ant damage there is. And I've lost three more colonies to ant damage. So I'm assuming what this little guy is, is a colony that just basically absconded and flew away. There'd be a virgin in there. And they're looking for a better home. Those ants just kind of drove them out. So I'm going to collect them. I'm going to put them back in the box to see if I can salvage them. Uh, and these cursed ants these years, I just can't keep on top of them. The big colonies, they can manage them, but these little guys, they just, they, they don't have a chance. 35 degrees and the bees are bringing in nectar. We are shaking bees. We have another three yards to do before we're finally done putting excluders in. And these boxes are filling up. I don't know where all the nectar is coming from. I'm looking around, there's no flowers yet. Canola is just coming out. But it's just all the clover around the edges and it must be dripping nectar. I just love getting a start like this because these hives are primed. And that canola, it's gonna be another two weeks before that blooms. We have canola close to blooming now. And I have a box full of honey already. So we're going through and we're trying to even things out the best we can. We see smaller ones which uh, need, you know, a little bit of boost. So we'll sort a couple brood frames into these units by pulling from these units. So it's going fairly quick. I have two working with me today. And then I have two new recruits on the farm and I've sent Carrie out with four, with three. So I carry out with three and they are putting supers on, they're putting thirds and absolutely everything. So hopefully by the end of tomorrow, we should have the whole apiary in three and just give these hives a little bit more space to be able to store this nectar. Checking back in one of the yards we shook down this morning and we have thirds on it now. And on the way up here, now all of a sudden I drove by three fields that are in bloom, canola fields in bloom. These hives, like this is in the evening, these hives are in full foraging right now. They're getting to work you know, well before five o'clock in the morning and I mean they're working they're, I bet you they work till about 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. They're putting in a full day. And they're able to do that because it's so hot. Nighttime low is above 20 degrees. It just allows these bees to work and work and work and work. So we shook these guys down. It was this morning. And they're right to the top. Filling every seam with bees. So they're obviously cleaning the boxes. Cleaning the frames. And they're up there storing. We'll take a look. Where these guys go. They're right full. I don't. Whoop. I don't have my smoker with me, nor my gloves. So I'm just going to spare myself the punishment. I was going to pull a frame up to see if they're storing any nectar, but nah. I'll just assume that. All act activity means positive things. Yeah, so you know, we have two more yards to put excluders in. Oh, you little bastard. And then by the end of tomorrow, we should have all the hives and thirds. Just like that, we got space for them right when they need it. So I'm hoping that uh, I wasn't too late in some of these where they're going to prepare for swarming. But there's only so much we can do. 
Oh, I just love it when a honey flow hits hard and fast like this. I mean, they're going, they're ready before the crops come in bloom. And now when the countryside turns yellow, we are gonna have to stack boxes.